What's going on guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the five-part TikTok mini series. Today is part four. We're going to be diving into content again, a little bit deeper than that last video. And the first thing I want to mention is you're at the stage right now where you are going to start to actually film these videos and it's not going to be easy, at least for most of you, right? It was quite difficult for me and you will face a lot of resistance. Now, I'm pretty comfortable in front of the camera. I've been shooting these videos for a few months, uh, shooting some other videos as well, created a course. So I was pretty comfortable in front of the camera. But even the first time I sat down to film a couple TikTok videos, I faced a ton of resistance just because it's new. Uh, it was a new form of video. It was this new thing that I was doing. And every time we do something new, every time we push outside of our comfort zones, we are going to face that resistance. I'm actually gonna play a video right now of that time when I sat down to actually film these videos and I couldn't do it. So I shot a different video talking about that resistance. So I'm gonna play that right now. What's up guys, it's Mike here. And today I wanna talk a little bit about resistance. So I've been meaning to make a TikTok for a while um, just cause we're seeing crazy, crazy amounts of organic growth on the platform. I've been researching into it. This morning, I outlined the first 10 videos that I'm gonna create. And now right now, I'm actually supposed to sit down and film those 10 videos. And I went to go make them and I had so much resistance, like a crazy amount of resistance. I just couldn't do it. I was like frozen and I just could not film these videos. Um, and I don't think it has to do anything with like getting in front of the camera, like videos like these, I can kind of just pick it up and just rip it now like i've been doing youtube videos for a little bit so i don't think it's anything with getting in front of the camera or speaking or anything like that it's just doing something new right when we do something new we're doing something different there's often this resistance to it and the first couple times you do it are going to be the hardest ones and that's something that i know and i sat down to do it and still that resistance got the better of me like i'm making this video right now and i'm basically procrastinating on making those other videos that i know i should be doing but i wanted to talk about this when i felt this come up and so if you right now are trying to do something new you're trying to branch out a little bit something that you have never done before and you are facing that resistance just know that the first time that you break through it's going to get easier and easier and easier like the first time I shot a video like this, oh my God, it was so hard. I had to take like 30 different tries just to make it good. And now like this is my first one. Um, hopefully I won't mess up and I have to shoot another one. But if you're facing that resistance, a book that I would definitely recommend is called The War of Art. Um, excellent book. And it really talks about sitting down and just breaking through that resistance. And it's really for someone who is a creator. If you're writing a book, if you're filming videos, if you're building something new, uh, it'll be perfect for you if you are just going through this like initial stage, really trying to get out there and you are just facing a ton of that resistance. Hope you guys got a ton of value from this video. I'll see you guys. I hope that was helpful for any of you who are actually facing this resistance right now and are struggling to just create that first video. Uh, it's gonna be the hardest one to create, but you just have to push through it and just just do it. That's all there is to it. Just do it and you will get better and better and it'll get easier as well. So a couple things to note when starting out. Your first few videos are actually pretty important. Now, don't don't let this hold you back and give you even more fear because you want to make your first few perfect. Don't do that at all. All I'm saying is that your first few, they have a bigger chance of actually blowing up. And that's because TikTok it has no data on you when you start out, right? It doesn't know, you know what type of creator you are. It doesn't know how good your videos are going to be, how engaged people will, will be with these videos. So it's more likely to share these out with more people on their For You page, just so they can get an idea of who likes your videos, what you're creating, because uh, TikTok wants some data on you early on. So these initial videos, they actually have a higher chance of blowing up and just going completely viral. So. With that being said, don't try to make your first videos perfect, right? It's important to just get them out there and get started, but actually put some time into creating these because there's a chance that they could blow up. Now let's dive into some more tips for creating engaging content. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the hook. 
So right in the beginning of your video, you need to get straight to the point. Don't beat around the bush or do some long winded intro. You have to be very engaging right away. And what I like to do is I like to use a list and I like to use actionable tips and the word you. And I'll do these all within that first sentence. Now you don't have to do this in every one of your videos, but I like doing this a lot. You'll see a lot of my videos start off with, here are three tips that you can use to improve your Facebook ads, something along those lines. I use a number so people know exactly how many things are coming in that video that tells them how long they're going to have to watch and it gets them to want to stick around, right? If I say, here's the three things and then they listen to one and two, they know something else is coming. So I like to use lists. Also using the word you, it's this psychological bias that we have where we are just more engaged if someone is talking about us. So if I said, here are three things that I like to do to X, Y, Z. It's less engaging for someone because I'm not including them in the content. Whereas if I said, here are three things that you can do to get this result, it's this little nuance right now that gets people more engaged. So using the word you in that first sentence is key. I do that in almost all of my videos. Another tip is to create videos that are rewatchable, that are worthwhile for someone to rewatch, or there's some element to it that makes people want to rewatch. So going back to our previous video, we know that the watch time on your videos is super important. So if you can get someone to watch your video a couple times through, that's gonna boost your overall watch time. And this is a, a key element to getting your video shared out more and to get more of those views. So anything you can do creatively to get people to rewatch your content, uh, that could be, you know, speaking pretty quickly. So people have to watch it a couple of times or, you know, putting a decent amount of text on the screen and maybe not enough time to actually watch it. Um, you can get creative with this and think, how can I get someone to watch this again? Another tip for creating content is to repurpose other people's content that's already crushing it. So if you see a video in the app that's killing it and you know, it aligns with your industry, um, you like it a lot, you can take that idea, take that concept and mold it a little bit and create it and make it your own. So figure out what they're using, what type of hook are they doing? What are they talking about? And pull in some of those elements from these videos that are already working, repurpose them, put your own spin on it. This is a great way to get quick ideas for more content. Another thing you need to be doing in your videos is using sounds. You need to be using the viral music, those trending sounds that TikTok has on the app. Even if you are just speaking throughout your video, that's how most of mine are. Just take that sound and just put it the whole way down, you know, put it on like the five, 10%, just for some slight background music. Uh, TikTok really likes to play videos that have these trending sounds. So make sure you're using those in all of your videos. Another thing you want to do is be using hashtags. Personally, I like to just use hashtags in my industry. I'll search up, you know, hashtag Facebook ads, hashtag, hashtag digital marketing tips, things like that. And I'll put those in my videos. Um, I've heard before that it's helpful to put trending hashtags in your video. I don't completely agree with the strategy. If you're just putting a hashtag that's trending, but it doesn't have anything to do with your video, I personally don't see how that would help, but I've never tested it, so I can't really speak to that. Uh, but that's another method that TikTok creators have is to use trending hashtags as well. I personally like to just fill up all of the text that TikTok allows us. They give you uh, a certain amount of characters. I think it's similar to like a tweet. I like to just put, it usually comes out to like five or six hashtags in there. And then a description of the video so TikTok knows what it is. So if my video starts with, here are the three Facebook ad tips that you need to use to increase your conversions, I will write the description of that video as three tip, three Facebook ad tips, something like that. And then put in five to six, six, and then put in five to six hashtags in there. All right. So let's jump into some tips for actually creating the content. Once you are ready to sit down and go now, before you just break out the camera and you start shooting, I would recommend brainstorming and outlining your videos. Just write some things down on paper. So when you're ready to film, you know exactly what you're going to say. You have it scripted out and you have just planned from start to finish this video. I also, I also recommend batch creating your content. Um, what you will notice, and when we get into the next video, the consistency section, you're going to have to post quite a lot. 
and it can get a little bit demanding to create these videos every single day, right? Especially if we're posting three, four times a day, um, which I do recommend, it might be tough to film three, four videos every day and filming one every couple hours. So I recommend batch creating content. And I typically do this twice a week. I'll set aside a couple hours to just create 10 plus videos um, during these few hours. And that way I have content created for the next few days. And so that way I'm not constantly in the app because it can be draining, right? It can take a toll on you just being in that app all the time. Like I'm someone who I like to disconnect from my phone quite a bit. Um, and if I have to post, you know, every few hours and I'm creating a video every few hours, it can be demanding. So I would set aside some time, maybe once or twice a week and just batch create as many videos as you can during that time. So I wanna provide you guys with some action steps from this section. The first big thing is you need to outline your videos. Write down five different video ideas that you are going to shoot. Script them out, write down your hook, write down exactly what you will be saying, and then you need to fight through that resistance and film those first videos. If you guys got value out of this, drop me a comment, drop me a like, and I will see you guys in the final section of this five-part series.